Oh, man. Carried Lonnie all the way here from the enclosure. You did not. She's been limping. How else could she have gotten here? She was already here. Uh, right. <sighs> At least we know what the problem is. I bet Lonnie can't wait to run around again. I try to take good care of her. What's the temp? I must do this 10 times a day. Sounds good. No, I do this 10 times a day. Here we are. Definitely proves Andrew didn't need to carry Lonnie anywhere. Phew, that's a relief. Someone's a bit long in the hoof. There we go. Maybe this will turn up something. I dressed up as a zebra for Halloween once. My hair was white and black for weeks. Ouch! I hope this doesn't hurt. Which one of these does the patient need? Excellent choice. Well, she doesn't come running up to her food anymore, and she's been a bit lame off and on the past several days. She seemed a little lame in her right rear leg, but nothing serious. But now she's favoring her left rear leg. Nope, the rest of the zebras are behaving normally. Ready to carry Lonnie back? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't need to, now that the doc has taken care of her. She'll be trotting around soon enough. Good, then you can go get me a soda instead. Chop chop! Equine protozole myoencephalitis is a parasite that can cause permanent brain and nervous system damage. Lonnie may have inadvertently eaten grass or hay contaminated by feces from an infected opossum. Since you caught the infection early, that oral medication will ensure a full recovery. As an added bonus, Lonnie will develop an immunity which should prevent future infection. Excellent! Your diagnosis is on the nose. You touched on all the right points in getting this patient's history. This patient was in good hands with you.